A hero's welcome for the champion as community members united in celebrating the ultra marathon winner. At his alma mater, La Pulohang Secondary School, educators and learners alike could barely contain their excitement. <laughs> His neighborhood was also a buzz as family members and neighbors joined in loud cheers for Dijana. He is determined since Ali Munyani and he is focused. Even on a sports science, go, go university because of challenges, lack of money. We know that he's an orphan. He had to drop out and then Ayako security, even though Anzalko security, Azangi Akivapa. If I'm not mistaken, July, June, July, Natindila, Nada, Ran, and then Amata, we are letting happen. His achievement is not only an inspiration to aspirant athletes and the youth, but also a challenge to government to prioritize sports development in rural areas. As much as we are a rural province, but most of the champions that we have uh, across South Africa, it is from the northwest, and that's where we are saying we are going to. Ha we actually have a program that we are we are developing all of our athletes and and uh, actually sports uh, in general. So. When I came in, they said to me, the sport is structured. I said, that's the MEC. I'm going to make sure that I am unstructuring whatever is structured to make sure that we accommodate those who are from the rural province of the Northwest. And the shy champion says he did it all to make his children proud. I'm very good. I'm 100% sure that they are proud of me. They are proud of their father. Yeah, I did it for them. I did it for them. Youth from impoverished backgrounds have also been encouraged to not let their circumstances determine their future, but rather to take a leaf out of Tete Dijana's book. Simply English, he is News, Mahigeng.